Hello, Katie here from Katie's World. Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing a paper piecing from my Thunder Mountain page kit number 110. Okay, this is going to be um, pretty easy. We're just gluing down a couple of pieces here. These are borders that go along the bottom edge, but I'm going to ink the edges because I've cut this out of some decorative paper to give that um, wooden roller coaster effect. So I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz uh, Walnut Stain Distress Ink and the Tim Holtz Dauber. I like to store my sponges inside and they have Velcro so you just press on it and take that out. And the reason I'm going to ink it is because it is out of um, decorative paper instead of solid cardstock. The core is white so you can see a little bit of that core of the white. So I like to just rub some brown ink on there and try to get rid of those white edges. And it's a little hard getting in between there, but I'll just do my best. So yeah, it's not taking away the white completely like I had hoped, but it's not the end of the world if it shows because what you're going to do is focus on the pictures when you're looking back at your memories. So I'm not going to worry too much about that, but I'm just going to continue along the edges because it does get the edges okay. It's just not getting between the, the tracks as well. That's okay. And probably even use just a brown marker if you have something similar in color and just kind of go in there if you want to do that. I'm going to do this one real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe away any of that sponge that sometimes flakes off when you're inking. I apologize if there's any camera shake. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and glue these down. And what you want to do is line up the straight edges all the way clear to the edge of the piece, and it'll line up that track. Perfectly. So I am using the Art Glitter brand Designer Dries Clear Liquid Glue with the fine metal tip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place glue along the edges, keeping about an eighth of an inch away. I'm just going to kind of go in here quickly. This is a fast drying glue, so I try to work as fast as possible when I'm using it so it doesn't dry out on me before I have a chance to stick it down. Okay, so once again, we're gonna, I'm gonna start in the corner here, place it down. I like using the liquid glue because I like the, um, how I get a little bit of wiggle room before it dries. If it was a dry adhesive, it would just stick wherever I touch down. This, it does dry quickly, so I, like I said, I have to work fast, but I have a second or two of wiggle room to kind of move it into place. Okay. I like it. So there you go. And I'm gonna do the second one.
Okay, I'm going to start in that corner again. So these should be lining up, well, the track part's not going to line up, but I believe it's going to go on the layout like this, but we'll see when we put it all together. But yeah, it's not going to go like that. Okay, and that's it. Easy peasy. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please click the subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. And um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please check the description below. There's a little arrow under this video where you can see more information. In the description, there will be a link where to pick up one of these page kits. Again, this is for the Thunder Mountain page kit number 110. I'd love for you to check out my Etsy shop and see all the fun projects that I have available. And um, check out my YouTube channel for more fun videos on paper piecings, mini albums that I create, um, page kit assemblies and so on. So thank you so much again for watching and have a great day.